Today I'm doing more of a story time video because I got I had an emergency that happened, I got lucky. By the way, don't I'm gonna mention my family in this. Don't harass them, please. They have mental illnesses and I genuinely care about them still. They're going through mental issues and I like I said, I, I still care about them. So at this point, let's get ahead the distance. Let's get in the video. Let's cue the intro real quick. The flame, yes, gotta go. At some point, this candle, I gotta blow. I guarantee you talk shit and let's see who wins this race. I'm the best white boy to spin. So I was doing Instacart and I was driving up like 45 minutes northwest. No, northeast. And I was driving back because my phone is at 5%. I have like no battery. And for some god, for particular reason, I left my charger. So driving back my car overheats and breaks down keep in mind my phone's dead and I have no one to, I have no way to contact people uh, I know people's numbers but my mom wasn't gonna answer so and by the way she has massive mental issues as I brought up in the intro don't harass her but I uh, so I'm walking back and forth back and forth I walked about like two or three miles between getting watered out back Home Depot to try to lift my car to see if I could dump some water on it. I couldn't get my hood open because it's a beater car. The lever thing doesn't work to hit it open. Whatever. I was trying to break the lock, but I couldn't do it. So I just end up saying fuck it. I start walking south. I probably walked about like an hour or so, and some college kids. I think they were college kids. I don't know. They were about my age. I'm 23. They were probably a little older than me, like 25, maybe 26. And they were like, hey, do you want to get in the car? Now, normally, if they looked anything but just like dudes that like work hard and go to maybe go to school, I probably would have been a little more hesitant, but I was like, sure. They looked like there's no way, right? Like they looked like functioning people. They dress nice, whatever. Uh, not nice to the point where it's suspicious, but nice enough to where it's like just, okay, they look like normal people. So they hitched me a ride home. Uh, luckily, they were, luckily, they were willing to do that. And so I get home. I'm really tired from that walk still. I don't know if you guys can tell. But my, yeah, so it's pouring raining, keep in mind. I probably walked in the pouring rain for like 15, 30 minutes. Florida rain. So, yeah. Uh, and so I get home. I have my phone on the charger right now. I literally just got home probably like 15 minutes ago. And... So I get home, I go and call my mom, even though she's mental as shit, and think she would actually answer at all, whatever. She's like, I'm just gonna call you tomorrow. I was like, well, something happened, right? Because I have to tell her, it's like an emergency, that way she would actually answer the call. And so I tell her, hey mom, uh, you won't believe what happened. My car broke down and I walked about an hour south and whatnot, and she was just like, eh, whatever, eh, the, the, uh, super moody, but again, she has mental issues, I know this, I knew this when I was calling her, she has massive mental problems, but, uh, our insurance doesn't cover psychiatric stuff, or their insurance, rather, so, she can't really get the help she needs, and which is why I'm a massive Medicare for all proponent, I think people who have mental issues should be able to get the help and not have to pay an arm and a leg to get mental health help, you know, like, and I know how hard it is for people, uh, like I said, I'm not even, I'm not even in a great situation myself, like, I live in a trailer park, but, by myself, but, I mean, I'm, you know, even though the, the little I have, I'm pretty happy with, because I know it could be far worse, you know, like, I could be, I could be on the street somewhere, I could be one of those families in Yemen, that get bombed, I, I could be in a really, really, barely bad part of the world to where even the worst case scenario is nothing and it would be probably a one-time thing rather than an everyday issue. So, um, yeah, uh, and so she just got really moody and just hung up the phone, whatever. But, you know, uh, at the end of the day, I'm home. I, I have a bed I'm on right now, and, you know, at least it worked out, you know, uh, I 
sucked and you know god god bless you know because it could have been far worse i could have had to walk like 30 miles to get home in the pouring rain and whatnot like it could have been far worse and you know i thank jesus uh because that that's clearly a gift from him you know it's clearly a level of protection from him and i thank him for that you know uh but yeah i mean yeah uh today today was a hell of a day i know i normally bring out political stuff and make fun of the media but today i figured i just you know give thanks to jesus and just let people know at least more of an underlying reason why I support mental health help being free and you know and paid for because there are people who really struggle you know like there are people who there are people who are addicts that like families have to pay like twenty thousand dollars like my 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 father before he died was how like there were rehabs or it cost like thirty thousand dollars and like I think that's bad like like there are people who need help that don't have the money to get help and I think that, at least for me, like, even if I had the money, I would still want people who don't. Like, that's messed up, man. You know? There are people who are struggling with stuff. Like, they can't, they can barely afford bills. And if, like, a medical emergency comes up, what happens? You know? It's why I like to actually lobby for the average American. Because I think the average American, I know the average American's struggling. I can barely afford to put food on the table. What about everyone else? What about what about people who, who can't afford them an emergency? Like, most Americans can't even afford a $500 emergency if they needed to. And I think that's just disgusting, in my opinion. But, you know, that that's just that's just me at the end of the day. But, uh, yeah, it's more of just a little, uh, little story time video for what happened today. Uh, and, yeah, uh, God bless, man. But, uh, all right. Peace.